Mother, I'm looking for my wife. Have you seen her? What are you doing here? I thought you were supposed to be on a plane. What happened to you? I'm looking for Taylor. Have you seen her? When you're young, that's out. Oh, yes, yes, yes. la da do la da to 105. Think of all you'll derive out of being alive. Bravo, signore. Perfect timing. What's all this, Sally? Ah, uh, this, maestro, is an Irish version of your basic gourmet Italian, eh? As you can see, we have a little green fuselli with a little tomato sauce. We got uh, a little green salad. We got garlic bread. We got Parmesan cheese. Uh -huh. Now, tell me, am I psychic or am I not? Otherwise, how would I know when to put all this out? I don't know. But this couldn't come at a better time, Sal. That's a canty? Si. Va bene. Hey, working late? Me too. How come you're still here? Macy? What is it? He's gone. Who? Thorn. Thorn? Where did he go? <sighs> to Paris. What? And he's not coming back. He's... It's over. My marriage is really over, Karen. Thorn ended it. Isn't Taylor at your house? No. Is her car outside? Yes, it is. I don't understand. I thought you were getting on that plane to Paris. What happened to your face? Somebody hit me. Who? My brother. You and Thorne had a fight? Why? It wasn't a fight, Mother. At least not for me. Thorne belted me. I was out cold. What happened? He took my ticket, and he got on the plane to Paris. Are you hungry? Taylor, I know how miserable you are, but I'm not going to allow you to fall apart over this. You have to eat something. Got to keep your strength up. Your defenses are low. Do you know how easy it is for you to get sick at a time? Did you do that? To bring you back. Now, I suggest we stop somewhere and have some dinner. I don't want any dinner. And I suggest we stop and have something to drink. I just lost my husband. I don't want any food or drink. I just want to grieve. Will you please let me do that? fight at the airport. He was trying to convince me not to go to Europe. And he got on the plane? Yep. You and Dad knew nothing about this? No, I didn't know anything. No. And I'm sure your father doesn't either. Well, he's going to find out soon enough, because Thorne's on his way to Europe with Brooke. Brooke is still on the plane? Yes. I'm sure she knew nothing about this, either. Oh. <laughs> I'd love to have seen that. Brother, what the hell is going on with Thorne? Oh. I guess he and Macy never connected. What do you mean? Oh, he wanted to try and make a go of the marriage, and she wouldn't agree. So he came over here and told me he just decided to accept the whole thing and left. And naturally, she showed up later with a change of heart. Ooh. After Thorne went to the airport. 
And what about you and your marriage? Oh, my marriage was never that bad. Oh, I think that if you had stayed at that airport and gotten on that plane, it would be over. Well, I guess we'll never know that, will we? Oh, I suspect that you do. That's why you're back here. Uh, no, I'm back here for two reasons, Mother. One is Thorne's uncompromising zeal. The other is his right hook. Obviously, he convinced you. I can't fight everyone in this family. I was just trying to accomplish something for Dad. Honey, there are other ways to accomplish it. Yeah, well, I'm not so sure. Brooke is, uh, is not going to be pleased about this. Oh, I'm sure she isn't. All of that effort and no seduction. Oh, Mother, please. You made the right decision, if you have any doubts about that. Well, I don't. You don't. There's another plane leaving for Paris in an hour. I could have been on that one. And why aren't you? Because something else has taken precedence. And what is that? My wife's lack of faith. Where is she anyway? I'm sorry. You have nothing to be sorry about. James, you're trying to help me, and I won't even accept it. It just hurts so much. I understand that, Taylor. I do. Look, we can stop and you can get yourself a bite. Actually, I'm not that hungry. I was doing that for you. Well, it might not be a bad idea if we got ourselves some coffee. Where are we? We're on Highway 18. 18? That's on the way to Big Bear. I'll circle back when we get to the bridge. No, no, we have a cabin there. We could we could stop and, and make some coffee there. Okay. That sounds good. What am I gonna do, James? What am I gonna do now that Ridge is gone? I really don't think he's going to be back this time. May the next few hours be a lot more pleasant than the last few have obviously been. Amen to that. But how did you know what the last few were like? It's obvious that the last few hours have not been the most pleasant of your entire week. No, no, Sally, they've not been. Well, I suppose I should be grateful that you got home safely and didn't wrap yourself around a lamppost somewhere. Yeah, it was one, one of those kinds of days, all right. Mm-hmm. Well, Signore, forget it. Because now it is one of these kind of nights, OK? <laughs> you are one in a million, lady. Grazie. Now, let's stop all the talk. And let's get to this, shall we? Manja, manja. Come on, let's eat. <laughs> Dig in. What do you mean, Thorne ended your marriage? He divorced me. He left me this note. That note and these signed divorce papers. But an end is also a beginning for both of us. While I'm gone, I hope to find solace in the great distance that will separate us. Please, Maisie, don't try to call me or write to me. I am committed to moving on to putting this behind me. You must do the same. Be good to yourself. You deserve nothing but the best. May life lead you there. May it lead us both there. Thorn. I'm so sorry, Macy. <sighs> yeah, me too. I blew it big time. Hey, look, you both made mistakes. Yes, we did. Does anybody else know about this? Like who? Anthony? No. 
But I talked to him before I went to find Thorn. And I told him that I... I wanted to stay with my husband, that I wanted to try to make my marriage work. You know, he urged me to reconsider. He told me that he loved me. God, it was horrible. How do you feel about Anthony now? Well, listen. You have plenty of time to put that back together if you want to. That's the decision that you make. The most important thing right now, though, is that you be good to yourself. That is the priority. Why don't I feel like I deserve that? You do. Macy, that is an attitude you have to fight. That will destroy you faster than anything. Don't let it. I'm here for you. And you know what? I think Anthony is too. I've not been the best conversationalist tonight, have I? No. But that does not make you a deeply flawed human being. <laughs> Thanks, so. Sal. You talked to Macy today, didn't you? And she told you that she's decided to go back to Thorn. I should have expected it, Sally. Yes, but you didn't. How do you feel about this? I'm worried about her. I wish she'd made another decision. But she's a grown woman, and I respect her choice. That's a very enlightened attitude. Don't you know that life is never really going to give us exactly what we want? <laughs> we just have to learn how to improvise and go with the flow. My daughter, Macy, is going to make her own decisions. She's not going to change her mind, not for me, not for anyone else. So, I love her, and I respect her choices, and I get on with my own life. That is what is known as wising up, Anthony. And once you do that, life isn't nearly so complicated. So, you wised up. Mm -hmm. Took me a lot of years, but I finally did. You're incredible, lady. Your attitude about life is so inspirational, I truly mean that. Well, thank you. It's only a matter of learning how to roll with the punches. You're exactly what I need tonight, Sally. And I thank you for this dinner. And most especially, I thank you for being here. James, the light's right inside the door. Want me to build a fire? No. I built too many fires in that fireplace. <laughs> Look, last thing I want to do is get snowed in here, and it's starting to come down heavy. Oh, relax, Taylor. My car could get us through an avalanche. And anyway, we're not going to be here very, very long. I'll make some coffee. Where's the kitchen? What's our plan? From here, it's back to L.A., and uh, I start a whole new life. I know it's hard to conceive of a whole new life right now, Taylor, but life will soon be worth living again. It's always darkest before the dawn. I don't know. It's only your first night. You have to give it some time. How often did you say exactly the same thing to me when we were in Scotland? Scotland? That's when this whole thing started. Oh, please, don't tell me you regret that trip. It gave me back my life. I'm sorry, we shouldn't even be together tonight. I don't want you being alone either. I want you to stay with someone.
I just never, I, I didn't expect this to happen. I pretended I did, but I just, I didn't. And I really, I, I thought when it came to the moment of reckoning that Rich would never leave me. And you just don't know how jarring and totally unanticipated and just out of the blue that this is to me. Oh, God. God, how am I going to cope with this? How can I live knowing that Rich is over there with her? Brooke and her children and Rich, they're a family. <laughs> yes, Jack, I'll tell him. All right. Yes, all right. Bye-bye. Not around here anywhere. You did check the pool. Yes, everywhere. What did Jack say? He hasn't seen her and he hasn't spoken to her all night. Well, she's out with someone because her car is still here. And she is of the opinion that you are on that plane to Paris. How did you leave things with her? Not good. Well, what are you going to do when you find her? <sighs> Family therapy. I'm serious. So am I. We're going to sit down together and hash this out. I don't care if it takes a week, a month, or a year. Taylor has got to trust me. And what about you? What about me? When are you going to trust her? Mother, I am as much to blame as Taylor is. We both need a lot more faith in each other. Well, I hope you stay this committed. No, don't worry, I am. Taylor means everything to me. It's an earthquake, Mother. Come on, Mother, come on. In the doorway. Quick. Well, that was a pretty good shake. Yeah. Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Let's turn the news on. I, 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 they'll probably be able to tell us what's going on. Here. Again, these are very preliminary reports, but it appears we were hit by an earthquake, centered possibly east of Los Angeles. We're getting word from Caltech that the tremor measured 7.0 on the Richter scale and was centered in San Bernardino County, specifically in the town of Big Bear. Big Bear? Oh my God, it's a good thing there's nobody at the cabin. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of damage there. Look, uh, let me walk around the house. I've, a lot of things broke, I'm gonna check. You listen to the news and tell me, I'll be right back. We're being told that the damage in Big Bear is quite extensive. Unfortunately, the phone lines are down, so it isn't possible to speak with the authorities there at this time. Now, to recap, in case you've just joined us, the earthquake that you probably just felt was centered in the mountains east of Los Angeles and measured 7.0 on the Richter scale. We certainly hope that everyone in Big Bear is safe tonight.